Hey guys, today we're going to talk about rigging a jig head. Fishing anything from what I started fishing a lot is the mirror lure scented baits to the mirror lure paddle tails and then we also use, uh, we do have some gulp alive on the boat. We do use that a lot and we have the aggravation of baits pulling off. So we're going to talk about that today. I, I know you guys have been asking about locating fish and we are going to get into that. We were on the boat planning on doing some instructional on the boat this past week. But unfortunately the winds were blowing about 15 miles an hour and you couldn't hear us. So we had to kind of postpone that. So Captain Scott Wood and I are going to get together. We're going to hit some of those. And hopefully be able to show you on the boat exactly what kind of ledges, the depth, uh, what we work in the morning, what we work in the afternoon, that type of thing. So we will be trying to help you guys out on that. But one thing I think I can hit on as far as the jig heads, uh, I really want to show you guys this one little tip that saves a lot of time on the boat and saves some of those expensive plastic baits. And they're getting more expensive and if you use these scented baits, uh, you want them to last as long as possible. So I'm going to kind of help you with that today. First off, we always use fluorocarbon as our, our leader, I guess. We I mean, I've used a bunch of different brands. Uh, the one that I've got in the, the bag right now is the Team Fish. I'll let you see that. That's the Team Fish 20 pound. I do use 20 pound. I've tried some 12 pound. The only time I use the lighter, lighter weight is if I'm in really clear water. And if, you, if you're fishing up in the noose, you don't really have to worry about that. We're able to catch fish on these 20 pound liters pretty regularly so it gives you a little extra weight so you know we will probably use about 24 inches on that I've got just a normal I wanted to show you real normal jig head I think this might even be a Calcutta I don't I, I might have picked it up on a discontinued right it's just a normal Calcutta but the main thing I want to show you about this is that there's not much to hold the bait on so what we're going to do is you basically tie that tie a uni knot to that so you have a uni knot then you have 24 inches and then we go uni to uni on the uh, we always use braid so you take your fluorocarbon uni to uni to that if you need some help with those things we'll try to kind of show you how to tie those knots but uni is our favorite knot so got a couple different things I, I'll show you this is the new bait I've, I've flashed it up on a couple times on some videos but this is the mirror lure scented baits. Packaging is the exact same. Basically, the only difference is scented. They are very new. Uh, Custom Marine does have them now. We've been testing them out. We were actually lucky to get some uh, before they had them and, and testing them out. I've got, I've got some, a few fish caught on these things. I really like them because they last. They don't dry up. They have a good smell and I mean, I have bait fish hitting them just like you always have that gulp getting hit. They don't tear as easily. They don't have the weight of the gulp, so you might have to use a little heavier jig head when you're casting long distances. Uh, I heard it said, and we believe it, uh, a lot of times the longest cast is when you catch a fish. So uh, you need to get your gear set right so that you can get that cast on out there a ways. But that's a, I mean, there's a couple colors. They're just really, they're a nice looking bait. Uh, I'll show you. This is a really nice looking bait using that in kind of your uh, clear of water. Nice flash on it. And there's your chartreuse, which you've always got to carry a chartreuse. But you can see they're very, very. Uh, flexible they swim well there's not a lot of tail action I mean they're pretty much just cut off but they really swim well so this is another mirror lure I'm going to show you this one because that the split the split bellies they kind of stay on the on the hook pretty well because they've got you're going to come up through the back these are the ones you have troubles with this is a mirror lure paddle tail it's not scented they don't have the power the paddle tails and the scented baits but so we're going to take this, bring it through his back. So, so we're going to take this, bring it through his back, just like that. 
Now, most of the time, I'd have said before, you're ready to fish, right? But what happens is we get those bait fish hitting on it, pulling. And what happens is you start casting, and that nose, you keep pushing it back up and back, back and forth. It's going to come off. See how easy it comes off now? Once it, just like that. And I'm going to tell you, I know a lot of guys are reading the post. Uh, a lot of guys are catching fish on gulp. If you use gulp, you know that nose tears up fast. So it's a pain. Well, I've got the fix for you. All right. In your tackle box, one of the main ingredients you need to be carrying is this right here. Super glue. Super glue, boys. Yes, super glue. So we're going to take this super glue. We're going to pull it, pull the head off. Let's see if I can do this holding on. It. Trying to hold it into the frame without getting it on me. All right, now drip it right there. I actually put a little too much on. Now we're going to slide the head up. Hold it there for just a little bit. Now this bait is ready to fish. You let that dry, it's going to double the life of that bait. And I'm telling you, Mirror Lure doesn't have a shrimp, so we use a lot of gulp shrimp or DOA. And I'm telling you, it makes the biggest difference. Uh, we fish baits a lot longer because of that super glue. So just try that out, see how it's not coming off now. And it's not really even dry. So that will help you guys on your jig heads. If you have any other questions about the jig heads, let us know. You need not to the jig head. You can actually do a loop knot too, gives a little more free. Uh, if I got time to tie it, I'll tie the uh, loop knot and that lets your bait float a little bit better. So guys, you got to try it yourself. Sometimes that gets hung up depending on the jig head you're using. So a loop knot at the jig head or a uni knot, then a uni to uni after about 24 inches of fluorocarbon to your braid and you're ready to fish. Bump it on the bottom for drum. I love just slowly working it on the bottom, letting that jig head hit, and uh, hopefully it'll put some fish in the boat. Guys, we appreciate all the support. We'll talk to you soon, and we'll be able to kind of give you some tips on locating those fish later. Thank you.